guys. This week we're talking to you about something that we're passionate about. Well, I'm going to talk about something that's a little controversial. The F word. Guys, I'm a feminist. And I'm not ashamed of it. The first thoughts in some people's heads when they hear the word feminist is a bra-burning, man-hating lesbian. Well, I like wearing my bra. I don't hate men, and I have a boyfriend, so I don't really fit the description, yet I am still a feminist. Being a feminist doesn't mean being anti-men. Being a feminist means believing in access to birth control, equal pay for equal work, and fighting against rape and violence against women. So why aren't you a feminist? In my English class on Friday, we talked about feminism. My teacher brought it up. She was a feminist back in the 60s, and she wanted to talk to us about it. And all the girls in my class, slowly, one by one, raised their hands and said, I'm not a feminist, but I believe in women's rights, jobs, suffrage, all the things that feminists stand for. To be honest, it kind of blew my mind on Friday when I realized that I was surrounded by some of the smartest women in my school. Women who have been accepted to Harvard, to Princeton, to the best universities in the nation. And yet, they don't want to be called a feminist because, like everyone else, they believe it's a bad thing. If you've ever been in my room before, you've probably seen this article. Rejecting feminism makes no sense. And it's true. In this article, he characterizes what I saw in my English class as the I'm not a feminist but syndrome. And I think that's a perfectly adequate descriptor for our society. I'm not a feminist. But I believe that women should have jobs, women shouldn't be confined to the home, all that sort of thing. And it disgusts me that people can't just come out and be proud of what they are, a feminist, somebody who stands for equal rights for women. I'd also like to point out that my shirt says feminist, the people who watch the right to vote. That's right, not the women, the people. Men can be feminists too. I have a couple male friends who say they are feminists, and it makes me so proud of them because they can identify as a feminist when it's so hard in day and age for a woman to call herself a feminist, let alone a man. Now, some of you might say, what does feminism matter anymore? We needed feminism in the 20s and the 60s because women didn't have equal rights. But we have equal rights nowadays, so feminism doesn't really matter anymore. Well, it does. Because on average, women only make 77 cents on every dollar that men make. And only 15% of Fortune 500 companies are, have a CEO as a female, despite the fact that women earn 6 out of 10 college degrees. Now, that doesn't really seem right to me. One of my favorite websites for learning about feminist issues is now.org. Now, the National Organization for Women has a website where you can learn about feminist issues such as reproductive rights or passing legislation against sexual abuse against women. Now, these are kind of important topics, so you should probably go check out now.org to so see what kind of things are happening in your country that you didn't know about. That's what I'm passionate about. Feminism. I consider myself a feminist, and I think you should too. So, see you next week. Bye! I'm only half a person. Oh, and in case any of you were wondering about my weird accent, I kind of just watched three episodes of Skins.